Hi, Louise. It's your dick. <laughs> okay, so we're at Big Louise today, and we are going to do the 10 kilometer hike, hike um, up to the tea house, round the glacier park, and back down again. So, um, yeah, it should be fun. Let's see how we can This is the first stop at the tea house. Yay! We are hiking up the glacial trail section, but look at this view. Not a bad Thursday, is it? <laughs> Lake Louise um, from one of the viewpoints and you don't actually realize how cool the water looks until you're up here. How amazing. So we are just coming down now from the 6th Glacier Walk. Um, it was an over 10k walk. We have run out of water, we split up at this point because some people couldn't do it and we had got right up to the tea house at the very top. Um, my advice then is to bring at least 3 litres of water if you're going to do over 10k. It is pretty balmy within the forest areas but it can get really hot when the sun's out. And um, yeah, just stop, enjoy yourself, take plenty of breaks, get loads of food. Um, when you get to the tea houses then you're going to have to pay $4 for water can pay three dollars for the lemonade and i highly recommend getting both um for your return trip then you're going to probably take a little less time because there is a side chute that goes straight down um so you're not going to have to go through all the switchbacks that you've already done um just speaking of those switchbacks then they remind me of zion national park um when i went there and it was like switchbacks until you got up to the, the top of the mountain and then um that's when you see your views so same sort of thing, you've got lots of switchbacks, you have got roots, you've got gravel, um, it's not, excuse me, it's not ideal for um, older people, but if you come, you wouldn't go then past Lake Louise to do that. What you would do is take the short trail up the side straight up to the Glacier Plains, and yeah, just come and enjoy yourself. And Lake Louise is actually a really pretty place, it's so, so blue whenever you see it. I'll just shove in a picture just so that you can see that. Um, so this has been one of the better days. Um, after coming across the plains and spending 10 hours in the van, um, we finally got out into the park and we're actually getting to walk. So um, this is why I came on this trip, just to see views and just to actually get out in nature. Yeah. So um, been a really good day we're not done yet i think we are going to either go to hot springs tonight or go for a meal and then we are going to do some more hikes in Banff and um go out for a night out tomorrow night so pretty fun times um yeah i'll leave you with some shots and i'll catch up with you later potato <laughs> Smile! You're on video. Smile, Marcus. Good. Megan! <laughs> Love it, Megan. Classic Megan. Oh, it's freezing. Is it freezing? Yeah. I just like, I think it's cool. I don't know, it's very textured. Whoa, it's really cold. Oh, yeah, it's like thick. It's almost like it's got a lot of limestone in it or something. Yeah, that's why it's green. Wow. How beautiful. I hope you like it, YouTube. Hi, 
Anyways, <coughs> hope you're having fun with your new baby nephew. Um, I just thought I'd record the early message just to say hello because I'm at Lake Louise. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Miss you. And hopefully I'll get it work and see you soon. spending the day in Banff today um, after our 10 mile hike yesterday um, our legs are a little tender and our hot springs last night then um, was really cool we rented those style costumes I'll insert a picture so that you can see um, but we are just doing some shopping some souvenir shopping and just having a look around the town it's actually one of the coolest food places um, yeah so that's what we're at today We just been to see Ghostbusters in the cinema and it was absolutely amazing. Um, it was so so funny and yeah that killed a few hours. We're going to go to the spaghetti factory tonight and then we are going out for a night out in Banff. So it's so good. <laughs> 